welcome back. So today we're going to make those viral plaques, but we're going to do it a little different. We're going to use QR codes um, for Apple Music and also YouTube. So to get started, we're going to upload our images. These are the two images that I found on Google because I refuse, I repeat, I refuse to pay for a template when I can find it free on Google. So, we're going to take the first image and we're going to kind of elongate it. And we're going to do the, the same thing to the second one. Kind of elongate it. So, this is how we want our template to look. We don't need all this. But I got this image because I want this circle to be here. The play button. So, to get this circle, we're going to go to shapes. We're going to click circle. And we're going to wait for the circle to appear. I'm going to change the color of my circle to probably like any color that's light. So I can kind of see a little bit. And now I'm going to resize my circle. The exact size is this circle. And I'm going to try to get it, like, really close to the circle. So, it may take some time. But now that we got it, we're going to select both of these two images. And we're going to click Slice. Now, we can take that circle out. We're going to take the same circle that we just sliced and we're going to click um, send to the front and then we're going to take that circle um, and we're going to get rid of those. So now this, this is trash now because we don't need any of that. So we got our circle that we need and this is our template. So now we need to get rid of this circle and we're going to repeat the same steps. Going to circle and getting that circle down to the size that we need. And then we're going to select both of these two images and press slice. And we're going to get rid of all of Now we can move our play button here, and we're going to group them, and now let's start working on the inside portion of it. So I'm going to go to images, and you're going to, or um, sorry, upload, and you can put any image that you want inside of your template. The template is, is exactly what it says, a template. So I'm going to resize the, the image to kind of fit inside of my template. So the template is basically what it, what it says. It's a template. It's a guide that you use to make your Spotify plaques. So, uh oh, there we go. So we have our image in there. So I'm going to go ahead and group it. So we're almost complete. Next we're going to go to text and we're going to type the name of the song. The song that I'm using is called Promises and it is by Janae Echo. Um, I really love that song. So we're going to kind of put it big here. And then we're going to go to text again. And we're going to type in the name of the artist.
um, you want to kind of get it to match exactly how it does on the album, the name, all the features, um, and all that. So now that we got that done, we're going to resize that, of course. You can do that by just zooming out um, or whatever method works best for you. Uh, we're going to kind of put that here under the name of the song. Um, and I just realized I didn't capitalize the J. So, um, think this is correct so now we're gonna figure so pretty much we're almost done um i like to group as i go so that if i do anything i don't have to come back and make any additional changes so now we're going to do the most critical and hardest part for most people and that is we're going to generate um our qr codes um first of all we're going to go to youtube and we're going to type in the name of the, of the artist. For this particular case, I'm going to use hers. Her name is Janae Echo Pharmacist. And we're going to um, get the song. And we make sure it's mute. So this part right here is the link that we're going to need. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go to QR code generator. And we're going to um, click the web because it's a URL. And we're going to um, click... Type in that um, you, um, URL here by copying and pasting it. And then the QR generator is going to generate that QR right there. So now we can either click download and get that QR generator. Or you can copy this, this page or screenshot this page and crop it to where you just get this QR code and it'll show up on your um, download image when you go to upload on Cricut Design Space you will see it there but you got to remember that you want to save this as a print image because you see this now imagine us having to clean this image up it's not going to generate the right code for us so make sure that when you do it you do it as a um, print image so now we're going to go um, back to this QR generator and we're going, I'm going to show you how to do it for Apple. So for um, the Apple Music, we're going to go to this Link Maker website. And, and again, I'm going to leave all these websites in the description box so that you can see how to do it. You're going to click English. And you're going to put your link there, and you're going to click search. Or you can type in, I think this would be easier to show, Jane Echo. Type in the name of the song. You have the song here. And at the bottom, if you scroll down, you're going to see content link. So you're just going to copy that link. You're going to go back to QR code generator. And you're going to paste it. And it's going to generate right here. Once it's generated right here, you go to download and save it. And it'll come up in your downloads down here. And uh, and also you can go to paint. 
So now let me show you guys what I mean when I say upload the image. So you're going to go to upload image, browse, and you're going to find that image. Click open. Um, you can do complex, simple. But I want to show you what I mean. If you want to click select and erase, I mean, just imagine how many clicks you're going to have to click. And then look, you see what's happening? The whole image is just going to get covered up because some of the, the things are broken. So it's going to be a little bit work. So I, de I definitely don't suggest that you do it. I suggest that you go to upload, browse, and then you type in image you're looking for you go to simple continue and I definitely suggest that you just click continue again once your image appear here that way it'll save as a print and cut instead of saving it as a cut image so now we're going to just add this image to our project And you can size it as big as you want it, as small as you want it. You can put it here. You can even take this away by slicing this part and just have the code here. Um, you can do it however you, you want to do it. But this is the basic layout of how you do it. Um, then you're going to group them all together. And I'm going to... Um, if you guys want to see how to assemble these, definitely let me know if you want to um, wait on me to do a part two to how to assemble the Shopify, um, Appetunes, and YouTube plaque that's just, just really a big hit right now, then definitely let me know down in the comment section. Um, please, again, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please comment, and subscribe for all types of tutorial, all types of business ideas. Um, the, best is, the best is yet to come. Stay tuned.